Hi guys, my name is Kanisha Sles. Welcome to my channel. This is my first ever tutorial. Bear with me. I hope you guys like it. If you like it, thumbs up, subscribe. And if you have tips, let me know because I want to improve. I'm starting with a moisturizer just to keep my skin hydrated all day long. Yeah, this is the most important step for me because I have dry skin, the combination, and ain't nobody got time for cracked skin. The primer I'm using this is Stay Lauder the Mattifier Primer. This thing works wonders for me. It keeps my pore look pores looking flawless and my T-zone matte, so that's all I need. For foundation, I'm mixing these two. I love the amount of coverage I get and how it feels on my skin and it doesn't dry out my skin and that's really important because I have eczema and it's really easy for me to get those fine lines around my lips and on my cheek. So this works for me. I'm going to mix them with a small synthetic brush and just apply it on my skin using a blending uh, foundation brush and afterwards my beauty blender just to make sure I don't have any fine lines and streaks and so it melts into my skin and looks flawless to contour i'm using this skin 02 contour stick this is from an australian brand and it's doctor formulated so i guess it's really good for your skin i haven't noticed anything negative i haven't gotten any breakouts so it must be good it ble blends easy and yeah it works the highlighting part is just too white for me so i'm not gonna use that one but yes it blends super easy To highlight my face, I've been using this H eraser by Maybelline and I kind of like it. Uh, it covers my circles, which are chronic. They just won't go away. Those bags, they love me and I hate them. But anyway, so a concealer, a good concealer must do the hard work. And yeah, I'm just going to blend it with my beauty blender. Just making sure I press it into my skin and melt it with my foundation so I don't have any harsh lines and obvious highlight because one thing I hate it's obvious highlighting but anyway so that's what I'm doing just dab it gently into my skin and make it melt To set under my eyes, I'm using this banana powder by the Makeup Revolution. I'm not going to bake because my eyes, under my eyes are really dry and yeah, if I bake it's gonna get more obvious.
so for contour I'm going to use this Milani powder in the color caramel and to contour I'm going to use the Morphe GH02 brush this brush guys is so fluffy it gives me the right amount of precision and yeah it works you can use any brush of course to contour but I love this one and the powder Milani, oh my god, Milani is the bomb. I love their products, their lipsticks, their face, their foundations, and their powders. Lit. Anyway, I'm just using now a big powder brush just to wipe off all the excess banana powder. And of course, going in again with my beauty blender to blend it and to melt the products into my skin so I'm gonna look like a glowing healthy baby so now I'm going to use my MAC fixing plus spray just so my foundation and powder and everything sets and will move and it's gonna look dewy and pretty and flawless and healthy that's what we're going for now the fun part comes I'm going to highlight my face with the makeup revolution strobe I'm going to apply this highlighter on the part that pokes out the most of my face. Not the highest part, but you can see what I'm doing. Because that's where the light is going to hit and that's where it's going to glow, baby, glow. So now the experiment thing is going to start. I'm using this Born This Way by Urban Decay palette. And I'm going to use the Weekender as my transition color. And yes, if you know me, you know I love my earthy tones. I'm not the vibrant colors kind of girl. So. I'll have to work on that part because eyeshadow is, yeah, eyeshadow makeup in general is all about being creative and creating new things and being yourself. So that's what I'm going to do.
so now I'm going to use a smaller brush so I have a more precise application of this darker brown shade I am using this one just so I can create depth into my eye So as you can see, I'm not loving how this color is looking, it wasn't showing, so I popped into an other palette, in my MAC palette, and I used this champagne color shimmer just to create... Eh, I'm just exploring, I do not know what I'm doing at this point. I hope it's going to look okay. Now I'm using this NYX pigment. Oh my god, this pigment? Their pigments are lit. I have a blue one and this one. And you cannot imagine how popping these, color are. these colors are. I'm just applying it with a small synthetic brush. So yeah, that's all what I'm doing right now. I'm going to apply it to both of my eyes. And that's it. And afterwards, I'm just going to do eyeliner, mascara, and lashes. You'll see.
as usual as I forget everything. <laughs> I forgot to smoke out my lower lash line, so that's what I'm going to do right now. So yeah guys, this was my final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave th a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. I'm going to work, of course, on editing and doing better videos so it won't get boring for you guys. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you have tips and tricks, let me know because they're all welcome. Because I want to improve and I want you guys to love it.